Welcome to Ben Nung Design. It's time for us to learn one of the most important features of the tax code, and that is working with files, and in this lecture we will see how we can either visualize files or folders and projects for this purpose. I have opened a project I have saved on my computer, which is on one folder, this manager server project. You can open any project you have locally and if you do not have it, I can provide this for you as a lecturer as a resource for this lecture. Let's get started. And I'm currently in the Explorer view right here on the left, and it should be the first thing you see on the top left corner. And this Explorer view, as you see at the moment, has like four entries. Let's see the first one. And this is just a file explorer. I can open a file. And there are two ways I can not just click on it and notice that it appears in italic font. This means that if I click another file, it will replace this currently open file. If I double click it, it will open it and if I click another one, it won't replace it. This is the way you can open files in this code. Also, if we are looking at these files, let's see how we can visualize them. And as you can see, this is adjacent. It formatted as adjacent. This is a TypeScript file and it forms it as a TypeScript. If I want to look to files in the same time, I can either drag one and see this nice double view. I can either I can even visualize more than one file and I can even put it right here. And there are always I can play all kinds of ways, I can play with visualizing fives, as you can see. Visual cues to your code is very easy to customize and to visualize or either edit files. This is very convenient. Nothing special until now. The fun part comes when I want to search or explore a big project like this one or even bigger, which contains lots of classes. And I want to open a particular class, let's say, for example, this user's handler, and let's say that my project is just opened. I can collapse all the folders and have this clean view. But if I want to open just one file and to search it very fast, I can press Ctrl B remember, not Control shift and b but Control b like this one. And this is a file search. First of all, this show shows me the recently opened files. And if, for example, I want to open the user's database access, I can for once say users. The b axis, but this is hard and boring, or I can just press the grid, the first letter's user's credentials. Deb axis and it will directly find me find myself this file and I can open it and inspect it very very convenient also note that we have a file open let's go back to our open editors view and as you can see it appears here I can either close one closes from here or close it from here but I see something else I want to show you is this outline of view which as you can see shows me different icons for different fields or methods or constructor that this file has. This is more related to the code in this file, but nevertheless, it is very, very useful. You will know for sure, use it a lot of times. And one other view which is only available if you have such control configured for your project is the timeline view, which will show you for this current file that you have opened different different positions. In time, of course, by different commit until the latest ones. This is a very powerful view and it will help you see the history of your file. As I said, only available if you have source control initialized for your project. We will see this later on in detail how you can do it inside this course. Another important feature of this code and any code editor is the search feature. And it is very simple and straightforward. It's, for example, I can search for this keyword and it will directly find all these keywords. I have some search parameters like here, for example, match, case or match the whole world. I can pick this up. I can either replace them and this will search and then replace this occurrences. Again, very simple and but yet very powerful. But one another feature which which is very powerful for the code and this is a feature which was missing. 
especially for JavaScript or TypeScript is the reference search. And if, for example, I go to let's say, our class doesn't really matter which class, and I want to see who calls this method right here. This is especially useful for debugging purposes. We will come to this also later on where we will talk about code helpers. But let's say I want to see who calls these methods right here. One solution would be to just search it right here and see, hey, this one calls my method. But this is, of course, not so convenient for this. I can right click it and find all references right here. And this will take me to the references view. It will open a new viewer right here and it will show me who calls these methods. And as you can see, currently, I have only two callers. Let's see if I am talking about references. There is another very useful feature, which is the call hierarchy. It, for example, I want to see who calls this create server method. I can write. Click it and see call hierarchy. And as I can see, this is called by my launch app method from inside my launcher class. This is not so. Yeah, this is convenient. But another cool thing about this code, and I haven't seen this in other editors, is that I can also see who calls my method with this, but I can also see what my method calls. And as you can see, it will give me a list of methods or fields which this method calls. For example, it creates the it calls the create server, the listen method, the logs the end. And yeah, these are just details, but it can show me exactly what this method calls and it can help me make a very powerful idea of what's going on inside my project really, really fast. If I want again to understand very fast what's happening here, I can, for example, go to a method. And if I want to go to learn more about it, I can press control and then click and it will directly open the file which contains it. And here again inspect its code. So as you saw, this code is very powerful when it comes to working with files when it comes to navigating a project or visualizing a certain file, it helps us a lot in our programmer or designer life. And before finishing the lecture, there is one last very cool trick I want to show you. And I switched to my Windows machine to show you this, because on Linux, the shortcut is already taken by the operating system. But if, for example, I want to edit multiple lines in the same time, this code has a very cool feature called multiple cursor or multi cursor and how can I trigger this observe now that my cursor is here after this 880 but if I press hold and then put my mouse at another places notice that now I have like four casters and I can just edit all these lines in the same time this is very convenient when to when you want to modify you know large files or you want to edit JSON files just remember Click and then ULT and then you can nicely edit all your lines in a very cool fashion. This being said, let's go in the next picture when we get when you will see how we can customize our quality to the code. Thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel.